Welcome back to Cyboss TV here in Toronto. Let's have a look now at trade as a good example of collaborative finance. CGI has teamed up with a number of leading organizations to provide key services and solutions such as trade platform. CGI and Barclays have been working together to improve user experiences by providing future ready technology. Barclays has combined CGI's innovative and flexible commercial models with a strong cooperation that has resulted in a collaborative financial outcome for themselves and their customers. Well, to talk about this in a little bit more detail, we're joined now by James Binns. He's the Global Head of Trade and Working Capital at Barclays and David York, Vice President, Head of Banking and Financial Markets UK at CGI. Hi to you both. Welcome to Cyboss Hello. TV. Hello. Welcome, gents. So, James, I'll start with you. You're a major player in the global trade finance market. So, where are the, what were the drivers behind Barclays' decision to invest in a new trade platform? So everything starts with the client, our customer, and the initial um, priority is to, is, is to improve the client experience when they're working with Barclays. We want to give them a market-leading user experience in terms of how they interact with Barclays and how they access our services. Secondly, um, it, it's to drive the right cost efficiency in terms of our business and capacity. Um, this technology will enable us then to start scaling our business as we go forward and to be able to serve more customers. It makes us connectable as well. Um, if you look at legacy-based technologies with all the digital solutions that are emerging on the market, legacy, it's very difficult to connect those to those emerging solutions. So what this does is it gives us a core technology which is connectable to the outside market. And then finally, it's a SaaS-based platform a number of other big banks using the same platform. And for me, what that means is it future-proofs our technology because it starts to share the cost of the future development of that, of that technology and increases the interoperability from a technical standpoint between the banks. David, tell us a little bit more about this solution from CGI and how it's enabling Barclays to achieve their, their business objectives. Yeah, so you, you might recall, Johnny, last year I was here and I was talking about some of the uh, uh, sort of uh, projects that we were working on at the time, and certainly Barclays was one of those. Um, and the Trade 360 platform that that Barclays have taken on is uh, is, is now recognised as probably one of the leading solutions in the marketplace, and certainly by the the, the larger banks. Um, we're supporting over 25 uh, sort of regional global banks now with with, with Trade 360 um, and 130 uh, <coughs> banking locations. So geography is where it's deployed, um, and something like 30, 000, uh, 30 million uh, sort of transactions go through the system uh, every year. Um, and what James has just mentioned about that sort of growing ecosystem, um, we are sort of creating a solution that allows the core engine, the, uh, the systems of records, to interact with all of these uh, increasing digital ecosystems that are emerging. Mm. Interesting. Um, James, if I can move over to you, I want to pick up on something you said a little bit earlier, if I can. Uh, you mentioned digital collaboration. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about what this actually means in terms of, of trade finance uh, business? So first of all, this platform gives us digital connectivity to our customers. It means that they can submit all of their applications to us digitally. And it also means that they can then self-serve digitally as well. So for example, if they want to issue a guarantee, they can send us the application digitally. But once the guarantee is issued, they can then view that guarantee online. They can check the status and so on and so forth. So it gives them real-time access to the underlying transactions. So that is a massive leap in terms of the client experience. But what it also gives us is connectivity to the outside world through the API gateway, which sits off the platform. So it enables us over the next years and decades to be able to connect to digital solutions as they emerge in the market and to be able to offer our, cu our customers, our clients, access to a broader range and the, and, and the best solutions possible out there. And David, the digitalization of trade is obviously driven and enabled by technology companies like CGI. So can you talk about the key building blocks? 
Yeah, sure. I mean, James has just touched on some of it. Um, I think if we all recognise that you know, the digitisation of trade is, is going to continue and it's going to accelerate. Um, I, th I think um, the, the key thing now is really trying to pick out who are going to be the winners and losers in that. You know, there are lots of fintechs out there um, you know, looking at the you know, digitisation of trade, as I've said. And I think the fundamental building block that, that James mentioned about is around the architecture and the way that you look at your APIs to enable you to you know, interact with you know, fintechs, the ecosystems that are developing there, also to enable you to start looking at placing trade uh, trade products at the point of demand, so embedding them into uh, you know, other uh, financial services uh, solutions um, and having the right architecture to do that and enable you to sort of take these microservices and deploy them you know, beyond the, you know, the, the bank's own infrastructure is absolutely crucial. Um, one of the other things it also does, it allows, you know, uh, Barclays and other organisations such as that to actually start offering trade uh, operational services potentially to some of the smaller regional banks who can't make that investment in the technology that's required. Well, it certainly sounds like a major undertaking and I'd like to get both your opinions on this next question. Uh, how, would you, how would you explain to us uh, how you guys have, have kind of worked together on this, on this undertaking and helped deliver this quite significant transformation initiative? I'll start with you first James. Well, it's taken four and a half years, and I started with a blank sheet of paper, <laughs> and I've lived it, eaten it, slept it every single day since. But for me, there's a few key things you need to do before you embark on a project like this. You need to know what it is that you want to achieve, and you need to select the right solution or the right platform. And number two, you need to establish a very clear set of principles up front as to how you want to run the project. And for us, the number one principle was adopt, not adapt. So in other words, we adopt the technology, we don't adapt the technology. And that enables us not only to take a lot of risk out of the implementation, but it also means that you genuinely transform your business because you change the way you do things to, adapt, uh, to adopt the, the new technology that you're bringing into your business. If you don't do that, then you can end up with a transformation of your technology platform, but not your broader business. So for me, that's been absolutely key. And then I think, the, the last bit is you've got to set the governance and how you're going to run the project up for success right up front. Uh, and then, from my perspective, as I said, it feels like it's my, my baby and you've just got to own it every single day uh, and, and live it. And over here, how would you, how would you feel? Well, I think a, a lot of what uh, James has said it sort of resonates. I think the sort of governance, the co yeah, that collaboration is, is all absolutely crucial. Finding the right partner. Um, yeah, we invested quite a lot of time early on of actually understanding how we were going to work together. Yeah, and there are always sort of you know, you know, speed bumps along the way. It doesn't always go perfectly. You know, and it's how you work through those that actually really is, you know, drives the success of a project. I mean, CGI has never failed to deliver a trade, you know, trade 360 implementation. Uh, it's a track record that we're very, uh, very proud of. Um, and, and certainly our, our uh, reputational risk is, is you know, proof of that in, in terms of you know, making sure that we've delivered full Barclays. Um, it's, um, yeah, there are always challenges as you go along, but the, the other thing that Barclays have benefited from and our other customers benefit from is that um, um, group of customers that we have that all feed into the product um, and you know, feed into not just the direction in which we go, but the way we operate, the way we work. So uh, yeah, for, for us, it's always around the collaboration, not just with Barclays, but with the wider community that we interact with. Well, it sounds like a, a great uh, collaboration and uh, we wish you all the best and hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at uh, Cyboss. That's James Binns, Global Head of Trade and Working Capital at Barclays and David York, Vice President, Head of Banking and Financial Markets UK at CGI. Good to have you both here. Thank you guys. very much. Thank you. Thank you.